haircut left this week. <laughs> Where? Where? Yeah. Oh, on the east side. You ever been out there? Oh, yeah. That's where Jimmy gets his haircut, too. You going to Barnes? Nah, I ain't going to. I haven't been to Barnes. Oh, okay. You should let Jimmy cut your hair. Sure. <laughs> you got It'll the clippers short. on you? <laughs> I'm in the chair right now. <laughs> uh, are you excited about going to Florida? Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Definitely excited. It's been a minute since I've been in the swamp. You know, just to go back brings, out, brings a whole lot of memories back, and I just can't wait to go compete. This has always been a, a big rival game. How do you see it now? It's always a big game. Anytime we go play Florida, um, it's a big game, period. It's our first SEC, SEC game of the year. So, you know, everybody, both sides are going to be fired up. Just can't wait to go out and show you, what we can do. Do you carry momentum from Chattanooga? into this. I know Chattanooga wasn't a great opponent, but do you still you did some good things. Oh yeah, we definitely do. We um we did good at, as an offense and defense. You know, we went out there and created some plays on both sides of the ball. We're definitely gonna carry that over for this week and just uh take that in from uh take practice, you know, to the game field. How would you assess your play so far this season? I say I, I made a few plays, but you know, only I just want to get better each week as the games go. And like I said, um, um, BYU week, you know, that was the that was the round two. This is round four, and I'm just coming out to do as best as I can, best Coach, of my ability. Coach Pruitt said that he likes the away games because it kind of shows where you know you are as a team. Um, do you feel the same way? Do you kind of like going on the road in the hostile environments? Uh, I love I love any game. Period. Y'all know me by now. I'm just a competitive kid. Um, but definitely to go in the swamp this year, you know, um, to hopefully win. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Definitely cannot wait. And uh, that's going to be a big testimony to this team what we can accomplish. John, what do you see from forward on film, uh, especially in the defensive backfield? What I see in them film, um, I see a group of guys that uh, they can cover. They can cover. Um, just going to go out there and uh, rely on, on, uh, on our own abilities and what we can do as an offense. How did you all sense Jarrett was responding after the first couple games when he struggled? Do you see any difference in him this week coming off the performance he had Saturday? Uh, he definitely bounced back and he's ready to go. Um, you know, JG, I tell him every time, you know, he's the leader of this team. We need him. And uh, he's been vocalizing um, his leadership on this team and uh, he's ready to play. And I tell him all the time, I got his back and he got mine. So we had no worries there. Joan, as an upperclassman, you got a lot of guys going to the Swamp as freshmen, playing for the first time, you know, not only in the Swamp, but in an SEC game. What should be the message, you know, that you're going to give give them before? Uh, it's always the same message. You know, you got to prepare to win. And um, this week, that's all we're going to be doing. We're going to uh, – we're going to prepare our asses off um, this whole week and uh, come out there Saturday ready to execute. In the same breath, do you think it is almost a good thing that some of these guys don't have those kind of scars from those previous games? They don't know any better than they go out there and play football like they've always done? Uh, can you repeat that question? Do you think it's a good thing that some of those young guys don't have the battle scars from the last few years playing teams like Florida and losing late and can just, they just go out there and play and play free? Um, I think it'll help. Um, I don't think it's necessarily a good thing or a bad thing. You know, when it comes down to this game, it's all about execution. And, and like I said, you got to come out there and prepare, whether you're a freshman or you're a fifth year senior. Um, the deal breaker is coming out and um, preparing for this game is going. It's, it's what's going to matter the most. How happy were you for for Tyler Bird? Here's a guy that probably hadn't caught as many passes in his career as he would like, but on special teams, he's he's played very well. Gets a block punt. How happy were you for him? So happy, so happy. And I'm always happy any of my guys, you know, go out there and make a play. Um, Tyler Bird, he, he busts his tail every day at practice, you know, on um, special teams. And uh, last year he caught a touchdown against Alabama, and I was, and I was ecstatic then. You know, that's my dog. We uh, basically, you know, kind of grew up together, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, this is basically my home here now. I live here for five years going on now. And just to see, you know, any one of my guys come out and make a play, it just it turns me up and it, and it fills my heart with love. What would, what would a win for outside? What would that mean to you? Uh, it would mean a lot, you know. Uh, it would be the first SEC like, game of the year, you know, the first SEC win. And uh, basically, you know, like I said, it's round four, and I'm just ready to, I'm ready to kick it off. You're in a stretch now, three top ten teams in these next four games. Y'all been you've been through these kind of stretches before earlier in your career. What's the secret in kind of getting through it and not wearing down and kind of being able to survive that kind of stretch? Um secret, um, one one play at a time. Um, literally. You go out there and you focus on on that one play and only that play at a time and you just collectively collectively bring it together and um, you know, you, you bring collectively a, a bunch of good plays together and then 
And once you do that, you know, you look at the end of the game and you can say that you give your all tonight and then, you know, you go from there. Florida's got a pretty good pass rush. What can this offense do to kind of neutralize and keep that pass rush in check? We're just going, you know, like I said, we're going to prepare. we got offensive line that can handle that. So I'm not really worried about their pass rush. You know, they have a great team, and we, we have a great team as well. Juwan, last time we talked to you, uh, you talked about kind of the, the lack of energy on the sideline and how that was going to be something that, that you're going to harp on moving forward. How is the energy going into this week in the Swamp? Uh, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be level. It's going to be, it's going to be, the level is going to be crazy. You know, we're going to have lots of energy. You know, we've been having lots of energy since that last game. I told you we we're going to come out with lots of energy. And uh, this whole team just ready. We're, we're fired up. Like I said, it's a road game going to Swamp, Florida. How else can you put it? Like, it's an SEC game. We're going to go out there and give our all, and that's all that matters. How much, how much pride do you take? In, not, I know you're a guy who tries to compete every day, every rep, every game. But how much pride do you take in being a guy who kind of produces in big games? Well, I take a lot of pride in that. You know, um, as being you know a go-to guy. Whenever you whenever you need me, I just always want to be there for you. And uh, so, I mean, it's a lot of pride in that. But I'm not I'm not just worried about me. We got a lot of guys on this team that can make plays. So I know at the end of the day, you know, you throw you throw the ball to Marquez, you throw the ball to me, you throw the ball to Palmer. I know we're, as a receiver group, we're gonna come down with it. What's your fondest memory? against Florida? My fondest memory against Florida? Uh, I guess I had to say just winning, you know, just winning against them. I mean, but I don't really got no fondest memories, you know, uh, not any that I'm sure that you don't know about, but uh, I'm just ready to go out there and ball this Saturday. That's it. Have you showed Coach Shaney the, uh, the film of you throwing a touchdown pass down there? <laughs> nah, I ain't, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm actually going to go see the game plan today at 2 o'clock, so I can't wait to see it. Last one. Juwan, just where do you think you guys made the most progress on offense from game one to now? Uh, definitely just execution. I and mean, Just come out there and playing with energy. This whole team is just ready to go. We've been locked in. You know, you know, you know. the first two games didn't go how we liked it. We came back this last weekend and bounced back, and we're just going to carry that over to this weekend. Thanks, All right, thanks. Thank you. 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 Thank